Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota. Today's vehicle video, we've got a brand new 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Sport. In this video, we're going to uh, walk around the exterior and then we'll jump inside and I'll show you all the great interior features for 2023. Let's get started. So the uh, TRD Sport Edition was added to the lineup for 2022 and it's very, uh, very limited-esque style. Uh, limited has more chrome than the TRD Sport, but this has very similar wheels on it and it just has an overall look and feel of the Limited, but it's a sportier version. So the Sport now has the uh, faux hood scoop here on the hood. It's not functional, it's just there for cosmetics, but it does definitely add a sportier look and feel to it. The color on this one is Midnight Black Metallic. That color's been around for a number of years, but a really nice color on here. Now the uh, Sport Edition does have a chrome Toyota badge, with the chrome accents here in the grill as well. If this were a limited, then you'd have chrome here and chrome down here as well. And then also down on the lower bumper, notice this is a black trim here, where on the limited that would be uh, chrome. LED fog lights are now standard on the uh, 4Runner. Uh, projector style headlights, daytime running lights, automatic on and off headlights, as well as automatic high beams on the forerunner for 2023. This little panel right here has some sensors behind there for your dynamic radar cruise control, pre-collision, pedestrian detection. We also have lane tracing assist on here. And then this particular one does have the technology package. So there's a forward facing camera. So when you're doing some off-road driving, you can see what the terrain looks like in front of your vehicle before you'd run up on something you probably don't want to hit. Down underneath, there is a skid plate under here, but not the uh, TRD uh, aluminum skid plate. It's a steel skid plate, but it does add some extra protection for those uh, off-road drivers. This probably is not your best version for off-road driving, and that's largely because of the uh, suspension is a little more firm. So this has the x rays suspension on here, and that suspension does tend to stiffen it up a little bit. Helps it handle better at higher speeds than maybe the uh, TRD uh, Pro would. So here's your wheels on the uh, Sport Edition. These are a cast aluminum wheel. That's a 20 inch wheel. Very similar to what we see on the Limited Edition. This uh, is on an all season uh, radial tire and that's a 245 60 series tire. We have four wheel disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, traction control, part-time four wheel drive is standard. And then your over fenders, they're going to be painted color to match, midnight black metallic. Outside mirrors painted color to match, LED turn signals. These mirrors do fold in. They also break away. Blind spot monitoring, they're also heated. And then with that technology package, we pick up the extra camera under the mirrors again for the train view and then there's also a puddle light that shines down on the ground at night so you don't step in the puddles this one does have the upgraded uh, running board so that does pick up those the chrome strip in here again if this were uh, a limited edition this piece right here would be chrome as well but it's uh, midnight black black door handles smart keyless entry system and then the TRD Sport does come with the TRD Sport badging here on the side. We also have privacy glass on all your rear windows. Luggage rack up top is standard. Sunroof is not standard. It's an option. Gas door is going to be right here on the uh, driver's side. And then as we swing around to the back, you'll notice the upper spoiler painted color to match. Black shark fin antenna third brake lights up here privacy glass on the rear windows with rear window defrost and then the washer wiper actually stows up underneath here so kind of out of sight out of mind chrome badging on Toyota and the 4Runner no four-wheel drive badging so pretty clear uh, clean across the back clean look to the back of the sport edition we do have the uh, 
class 4 trailer towing receiver and then down underneath we do have a uh, full size spare tire and we also have our pre wires there so our 4 and 7 pin wiring and then you can see the red shocks up under there part of the uh, x-rays uh, suspension setup this one does have the extra charge blacked out uh, exhaust tip so kind of a black chrome exhaust chip there's an extra uh, charge for that but I think it really complements this particular vehicle also the back window does slide down it's a power window you can also lock the tailgate here does not have a power tailgate it's a manual tailgate but I wanted to show you there's the backup camera right here two license plate lights under here as well and then that tailgate does pop up really big high up out of your way and we'll take a closer look at that when we dive inside but let's go ahead up front and pop the hood take a quick look at the engine uh, by the way there's not a lot in fact there's almost no changes for 2023 so this video is for people who maybe have never owned a forerunner but are considering one in 2023 let's pop that hood so I just wanted to clarify the headlights up front or the fog lights so forerunners do come with fog lights but there's an upgraded option which this one has so these are the LED fog lights as opposed to the halogen fog lights and these ones are an additional $169 I uh, just want to be clear on that you can get fog light standard but if you want to upgrade you can do that as well so under the hood on the 4Runner, this is such a tried and true solid power plant. It's the 4 liter uh, V6 24 valve gasoline engine. Uh, produces 270 horsepower, 278 foot pounds of torque. And this engine is one of the reasons Toyota hasn't really upgraded the 4Runner in so many years. Just because it is such a solid engine and transmission. So it's a 5 speed automatic uh, traditional transmission the engine and the, and the transmission have a five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty on them you also get Toyota care so that covers your basic maintenance your your oil changes fluid top-offs tire rotations Toyota covers that for two years or 25,000 miles um, at no additional charge um, this is a part-time uh, four-wheel drive system and uh, just a really tried and true power plant gas mileage isn't all that great comes in at about 17 miles per gallon combined city and highway but it is an excellent vehicle for uh, towing because it's all set up from towing right off the dealer's lot so let's go ahead and uh, dive inside and check out the interior so the interior on the sport is that all black and charcoal gray interior um, there is some kind of metallic painted door panel trims uh, that look pretty nice on here you do have a chrome door handle which is standard on all four runners a little bit of contrast stitching light gray stitching in the black auto up and down on all four windows power door locks uh, there's a little storage cubby here bottle holders down in the doors speakers in the doors and a puddle light down here in the door as well of course it does come standard with power windows door locks cruise tilt air all that standard the, um, as far as the seating goes, driver's seat is full power forward, backwards, power recliner, power lumbar support. The passenger seat is not power operated. Slides back and forth and of course reclines, but not power operated. The seats on the 4Runner uh, Sport, these are a soft tech fabric seat, so they're pretty comfortable bucket seat. And then you'll notice up in the headrest, it's embossed or embroidered with the TRD logo, but not the red that you'd see on a TRD uh, Pro. We do have height adjustable headrest, as well as height adjustable seat belts, passenger assist handles on all four doors. There's also a passenger assist handle over here on the passenger side as well. Take a look down on the uh, dashboard here. There's four vents up, down, left, right, and on and off. Power mirrors are here, dimmer switch for your dash lights, automatic uh, headlight, high beam headlights, so that turns them or, uh, from high to low. Um, there's your view 360 uh, button, so you turn that on so you can see all the way around the vehicle. We do have a 120 volt AC converter, and that's the switch there that's going to be in your trunk. 
Uh, standard, we've got the uh, electronic front window de-icer. Hood releases here, brake pedal, gas, and, and uh, regular brake are where you'd expect them. And then we do have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel down underneath. Let's grab a seat. Behind the wheel of the uh, 4Runner, there's quite a bit of room up in the front seat, leg room, shoulder room. The Sport does not come with a sunroof, so plenty of headroom up front. Uh, let's take a look at the steering wheel. So the steering wheel is going to be leather wrapped. It's not heated, but it is pretty thick and very comfortable. Fingertip controls for your sound system on this side. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone is here. Driver side airbag. Information center controls. That's going to be up here in the cluster. We'll look at that in just a minute. You can also turn on and off your dynamic radar cruise control and your lane departure. If you don't like to use that, you can turn that off. And then down here is your cruise control. Wiper controls are here, including the rear wiper washer controls there. And then over on this side, we've got our uh, headlight controls. We do have daytime running lights, also on and auto on and off. And then the fog light controls are right here on this stock as well. Let's go ahead and fire it up so you can see what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning. Keyless entry, smart keyless entry. So we do have push button start down here. Go ahead and put your foot on the brake, push in the button, hold it. And that's what it looks like when you wake it up in the morning. I like the, the white on black backlit gauges and I also like these, um, oops, sorry about that. I like these uh, red needles on here too. Those are pretty cool. Hard to see at, in, during the daytime, but at night it, it really is interesting to look at. There's an information center here in the middle which has your outside temperature, a fuel computer. You can uh, toggle through different things right here using your fingers. So you can just fly through and take a look at your fuel economy. There's also a um, digital speedometer compass all built in here. And then you can also change your safety settings using those controls right there on the steering wheel. Pretty plain Jane cluster though. You've got your tachometer, your your engine temperature, fuel gauge, and your speedometer over on the right. Um, but very functional, very easy to read. Sliding over to our center stack, uh, there's a digital clock up here. Four-way uh, flashers or hazard lights are there. I'm just gonna move the seat ahead a little bit. Now this one does have the upgraded sound system which has the navigation in here. And so if we tap on there, We've got our full dynamic navigation system. I will say that it is getting dated. Uh, it works, it's very functional. It's just not very um, very um, spiffy, I guess is the word. Maybe that's an old man word, but um, it works great. Does have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Alexa compatible. Um, this is about a $1,585 uh, upgrade for the system. Um, so it's up to you whether you want it or not. It's the standard sound system is pretty good too. Moving down the center stack here, uh, heating and air conditioning controls are old school, so no automatic temperature control. Um, we do have rear window defrost, which also heats up the outside mirrors. And then further down, there's a uh, little bit of a storage area. Heck, let me show you this little storage area here. It does come standard with the USB port one here. And then this one has the rapid charge upgrade. So that's an extra charge. Um, take a look in the uh, description for the price on that. Another storage compartment down here. And then we've got our four wheel drive selector here, a cup holder, a storage compartment. So really a very basic features, uh, but very functional. TRD Sport does have the leather wrap, TRD embossed. Uh, shift lever as I mentioned before it's a five-speed automatic transmission little storage here cup holder And then this switch controls the window way in the back the power window So using that switch you can go ahead and roll that window down or up There's almost no other vehicles that have power sliding windows in the SUV segment So that's still pretty unique for the uh, forerunner nice large armrest here enough room on here for two different elbows and then underneath a good amount of storage there is a 12 volt uh, power outlet there there's also a little uh, 
cubby here for Kleenexes and ink pens and those types of things. So a nice place to stow stuff out of the way. The uh, passenger side is pretty functional. Um, there's a little bit of, of metallic finish here on the dashboard and then this is texturized so it looks really nice. Got a nice size glove box with a lock on it, key lock, and of course you do get all the owner's manuals and it does come with the uh, the four pin wire harness so for your basic trailer towing you should be able to drive it right off the dealership plug it into a trailer and go camping for the weekend uh, we do have side curtain airbags again those passenger assist grips I mentioned before mirrors on both sides with lights visor extensions on both driver and, and front passenger overhead uh, we've got overhead lighting here Garage door openers built in, three different garage door openers, traction control on and off, active track, track on and off, and downhill assist control on and off. So some super helpful things for off-road driving. Safety connect is right here for roadside assistance. If you need help out on the road, push that button and Toyota will get you the help you need. There's a nice uh, place to stow your sunglasses up here. Um, I used to have that in my old car and then my new car I guess I wasn't paying attention. It doesn't have that. And I'll tell you what, it's super handy to get your sunglasses out of the way or other things that just are laying down in the center console. So I, I strongly recommend buying a car with a sunglass holder. Automatic dimming mirror is here, so it will uh, brighten up or dim when people are uh, behind you. So that's a quick look up front. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the back seat. Heading into the back seat, the uh, back door is almost identical to the front door with the little cubbies, auto up and down, bottle holders, uh, puddle lights down there, and speakers as well. The uh, back seat is really very spacious, no problem fitting three adults back here. There are pockets on the backs of both seats, kind of a mesh pocket here, uh, vents, and then charging uh, ports down there, USB charging ports. A lot of headroom in the back seat. Should be no problem for six footers to sit back here. Notice we have folding headrest on all on the outboard and then a height adjustable headrest here. Of course, there's three seat belts back here. There's also a fold out armrest with your cup holders right there. And then these seats do fold down. They fold down in a 40 20 40 configuration. Pretty easy to fold down. You just grab this little tab right here, lift it up brings the seat up now what I like about the way this works is if you have something dirty or heavy maybe you have a toolbox you don't want to set it up on the seats you flip that up and you can just set it right there um, so I like that feature and then these seats do these uh, headrests do fold down like so and then you can just drop the seat down like that we do have a first aid kit that comes standard it's kind of a velcro first aid kit so you can put it in the back also child safety anchors on here as well and then as I mentioned you can also fold all of these seats all the way down there are passenger assist grips helps for little kids to get out and you've got an overhead uh, dome light there as well heading into the trunk this is an awesome setup on here I hope they don't change it on the new forerunner but what I like about it is this pops up big and high out of your way. It's not power, but getting it out of the way is nice for loading and unloading. Also, there's two lights in the back on the tailgate, and there's also speakers here. This is an awesome tailgating uh, SUV. If you're gonna go to the Packer game and tailgate, look at how much room is inside this bad boy. Also, the step up coming in, there's a threshold protector here. But it, you can actually get up on here. You could sit down on there and change out your boots, your snow boots, your hiking boots without getting in. Very few vehicles have a bumper to be able to sit on anymore, so I really like that. The opening is really large, totally unobstructed, and look at how much room is in this. This might be one of the most spacious SUVs in terms of cargo in this, side, this class out there. Notice I've got all the seats folded down. The TRD Sport does come with the carpeted TRD Sport floor mats. Get those out of there. Nothing underneath the floor, it's just a flat floor. You don't open it up, the spare tire's gonna be down underneath. There's tie down hooks at all four corners. Cubby, storage cubbies, cargo nets. Uh, here's your 120 volt power outlet. Here's your 12 volt power outlet. 
little places to put stuff and you see the tie down hooks are all over the place and this is really a nice clean unobstructed compartment there are some uh, coat hooks up here on the side but a lot of room it does not come standard with a cargo cover that's an uh, upgrade you can buy it through the parts department but you could easily fit a single air mattress and do a overnight or even a weekend camping trip out of the forerunner so that's an overview on our 2023 toyota forerunner trd sport midnight black metallics the color on this one this one is sold here today october 19 2022 most all of them are sold so if you're interested in getting one contact us right away and we'll do our best to get you one um, they are selling very very fast in 2022 and uh, we are getting them but you have to make a decision quickly and uh, give us a call we can help you with that hey if you like this video hit that thumbs up this is Tony at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.